What's going on receivers? This is Coach Gav. Welcome back to Film School. Today I'm going to show you guys the influence step and how you can use the influence step to get open and win your route. So this is just what I call the influence step. I don't know if there's another name for it, but the whole goal of this, this technique is to influence the DB to move away from where you're trying to go. So this first clip right here, you'll see Justin Jefferson flying across. He's trying to win an out route. DB has outside leverage. He's playing off. It's it's kind of difficult. If he wants, he can attack. And most likely with his skill set, he can plant and just win. But the influence step is trying to pull that DB away from where he's trying to go. And you'll see here he's attacking. And then you'll notice right here, this left foot. This is the indicator. So when you do this influence step, the more obvious it is, the better because you're putting that into the mind of the DB. Hey, I'm attacking you. Boom, I stick that foot in the ground. That's my move. And now we're going vertical. So you'll see he'll stick this foot in the ground. DB's thinking, okay, he, he's going deep. It's off to the races now. DB's flying out of there. Hips turned to the opposite end zone. One, two, three, in and out. And at that point, he has no chance to make a play, especially if Jefferson's wrapping it down and getting negative. So Again, I'll play to full speed. Watch how he, he attacks on the stem, sticks that left leg in the ground, pushes vertical, and then just drops. So here, stick, drop. So he influenced him away from where he's trying to break. Now, building off of this, well, I got a clip of Keenan Allen here at the top of the screen. And same exact thing. So, so Keenan, you could see where the leverage difference is. He's trying to win. On the out, DV has outside leverage, and he's playing off. So Keenan's going to attack, plant. So that's the influence step right here. So step left, plant. And now he flips his eyes, and now he has to sell this go ball. So you'll see as soon as he plants and starts to run, DB completely turns. He's singing crap, I can't get beat deep. And then Keenan has other plans. He's breaking to the out. So it's all about selling it with your eyes too. And again, that that plant step, that's the key indicator in the mind of the DB. And then obviously selling it with your eyes and, and pushing vertical with your speed. Now we'll go back to, to Justin again, down here at the bottom. S similar look, DB's playing far off. Um, he could Again, he could probably win this route with his speed cut with how good he is and the skill set. But again, he has to, he has to work up field use that influence step, pull the DB away, and then cross his face. So you'll see here he attacks. This one takes a little bit longer. So you're, <clears throat> you're talking 11, 12 yards downfield. Step, plant, and now it's off to the races. We're, we're selling the go ball. DB's moving this way. And the difference between the, the previous two ones, after that influence step, the guys are taking a few extra steps to sell that vertical. But it doesn't have to be like that. So you can you can take that step, which Justin does here, step vertical and immediately drops, gets into it. So it's just a read. Whenever you, it's it, it's a timing thing. So whenever you feel like, hey, I can I can cross him and win back outside, do it. So again, here pushing vertical, step influence, and then drops. And most importantly, he works negative out of that break, which makes it extremely difficult to get to. We'll see another clip here, Keenan at the top. Same look. We're gonna we're gonna attack. We're gonna plant that left leg in the ground. Get vertical. Get the DB to bail, and then we're gonna cross his face. So here he's working. Now it's gonna be a left leg plant here. Plant. Notice how his his body's turned this way. We got all this open space. Let's sell it. One vertical. And at this point, look at this cushion. Right. He got him out of the way. He influenced him away from where he's trying to go. He doesn't need to keep pushing vertical. So he's gonna plant and he's gonna run that speed cut. Wrap it down. The ball's there a little bit earlier. He doesn't have to worry about making a tough catch. So here's a full speed attack, vertical, cross. So that's the influence step. Again, trying to influence him away from where we're trying to go. Now, I, I believe that the more violent the plant is, the better it is because it's more obvious that, hey, that's my move and, and we're getting vertical. But you'll see two examples here of, of guys not really planting that foot, but it's still being effective. So um, watch here, he's attacking, and then you'll see left, this right foot right here, that's his influence step, he plants that in the ground, kind of just like rounds it and bends it, and then now he's he's selling it. So you saw the, the last two with Keenan and, and Justin Jefferson, how they kind of just plant that foot, one or two vertical steps and then break. You'll see here it takes much longer, so 
step drive and flume step right here. One, two, three, four. I mean, he's really digging vertical. Plant that foot and break out. DB does a pretty good job of of making a play on that, but it's very hard to defend if you're selling that go ball and you just plant and change direction. Now this one, same exact thing, attacks, and it's it's just a very subtle plant, so so it's not really violent or super obvious, but just a plant and a subtle bend to it. But the the biggest thing is the vertical push, and then you can see the eyes, right? He he made it pretty clear that you know we're going this way, and then he just does a ridiculous job of working a two step breakdown. So one two, I've watched so much films. I haven't seen many guys be able to get out of a two-step break at 15 yards. So this is ri just ridiculous. And then him working negative to get down. So, again, you're attacking, you're planting, and you're influencing him away from where you're trying to go. Um, again, it's a, it's a leverage thing, so so add this to your game, and hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, again, influence that we're pulling the DB away from where we're trying to go.